<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Untatsuke with Sochi. I'm your host, and tonight with me is none other than Jason Lodge himself. So, I guess Jason and um, Brandon are in a competition about who could be on here the most, so. I'm thinking my head of him about two right now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, anyways, let's fucking rock. <laughs> All right, Jason. So what? What's the news going around? Anything? Oh, the news going around, man. Oh man. Well, if you caught the wrestling last night, man. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I had to miss it because I've been working my tail off with uh, Planet X this weekend. Did a couple. Did a Christmas party. Then went and did the M, uh, ML. What? Damn, I'm dropping that too. <laughs> the Marine Corps base. The Marine Corps ball thing. Yeah, no, it Christmas was party or? Uh, it was a football. They did a flag football game for oh. the Army Navy game. Oh, okay. So, um, I told you I, I'm not allowed on base, man. See, <laughs> I don't know. I might catch heat for this. I don't care if I do or not. But Fort Moore mm -hmm. used to be Fort Benning. The right, so Fort Benning came down and played. The uh, Marine MCMA. Corps gotcha. against each other, so they play flag football, and we did the sound for them. Ryan did a pretty good job of doing like, you know, that play by whole, play commentary. And he didn't do commentary. No, he played music. Mm -hmm. When the play stopped, he played a little bit of music, so it was like a real football game. Sweet. It was pretty cool. Who so, won? The Marine Corps. Oh, okay. They stomped, stomped. <laughs> <laughs> like it was twenty six to six, mm. and uh, in forty five minute game. Wow! It, yeah, it they they took <laughs> care of us. I mean, you could see why though. I, the Marine Corps guys are a lot more fit than what Army guys are. I'll, I'm. Yeah, that's usually the case, man. I mean, they're... yeah, even the girls are more fit. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, but. So yeah, you've been busy, man. No, it, no we had no. a good time up there, man, last night. It was a it was a lot of fun. I think me and Jeff are putting together a tag team. We're gonna we're gonna see what we can do with that, possibly. Okay. And Dave uh, Dave Bayless is already. Uh, oh, is Dave Bayless gonna be like the he, manager? He, no, he wants to challenge us with his 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 partner. So. Oh, okay. And yeah, that's gonna be fun. If Dave falls on the ground, I don't think he's getting back up. I don't either, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, it was a lot of fun, man. Yeah. I hung out with Brandon and everybody up there last night and Jeff and everybody. It was, it was a lot of fun, man. Yeah. Good, good time for everybody. Oh, I bet it was a good time. I mean, uh, it's it's something different. You Poor know. Crystal needed a Valium and a couple of Xanax. Yeah, K-Method. She, uh, yeah, she, she was... Uh, she was struggling a little bit. I, yeah. <laughs> I heard about it. Trust me, I heard about it. <laughs> you got me drinking TV static, man. Yeah. So you're drinking a white claw over here. I'm not any better, though, because I'm drinking a, one of these. It's a mango Rita. Yeah. I mean. It probably it, doesn't taste like licking a TV screen that's got static on it, though. Did somebody put black cherry flavoring? Does it, is it good? No. but it, it, It's it, not good? It'll work. It'll work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first one exploded on you, so yeah, it tends to happen. It, t it tends to happen. Yeah. No, it's a girl <laughs> drink, so that's only pr appropriate for that to happen. <sighs> it, it, a drink to explode on you, probably. But the, the second one didn't do it, so I guess we're okay. Yeah, you calmed her down after. Yeah, the there you go. That's how that works, yeah. right? First go around is a little sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> Second go around. Yeah. Can we say that on here? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you say whatever you want. I don't care. I'll beep it out. Don't beep it out. Did you like my don't chicken noises? Me. Oh, if, dude, that if was anyone great. watched the last one, last one I put chicken noises in it. So there might be some chicken news noises or rooster noises or maybe even that guitar again. Because the guitar is mine. You can't use that for anybody but me. That's mine. Okay. Brrrr. Yeah. Yeah. You got to use that one for me. Okay. And Sean. And Sean. And Sean. Yeah. Yeah. Because I used it on your guys' episode, <laughs> which was a great episode. Go back and watch it. Mm -hmm. yes. um, but yeah. So you got anything in the works? I know you guys are playing on the 23rd. December 23rd at the Ogathorpe. I return back up there. Uh, ugly sweater party. So bring an ugly sweater. Yeah. We got drink drunk specials all night long. And yes, I said that correctly. Drink yeah. drunk specials. You drink. drink drunk specials. Yeah. So if you're already drunk, you still get specials. Wow. Yeah, so it's going to work. We're going to try it out. Okay. You get a uh, winner of the Ugly Christmas uh, uh, sweater party will uh, receive a gift from Santa himself. Oh. Hail Santa. Well, I'm just saying, 
I got a little help from somebody Dude. on what I'm gonna do. So <laughs> you guys, I think you you will get. I think you're gonna win that one. That's yeah, just down, be prepared. That's a hands down win. Yeah, <laughs> I got I got some ideas for. It. I just got to um, I'm just gonna get a sweater and put a mirror on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. That's genius. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stand in front of Jason Culberson all night. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hey, oh, fuck it. Your sweater's not ugly. It's just got a mirror on it. I know. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see if it works. <laughs> um, just put Dave in front of it. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm gonna follow Jason Culberson around all night, man. Oh <laughs> uh, shit, that's funny. <laughs> but you gotta put one on the back too. Yeah, there we go. We we'll have to find it. We'll get some of those little cheap plastic, like yeah, like mirrors. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The one non glass. Yeah, non glass, and we'll just mm -hmm. duct tape them or get some command strips yeah. or something. <laughs> we'll make it. We'll make it work. <laughs> I mean, if it's a sweater, you can just put a command strip on the back. It should and, stick. You know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I wonder if it'll stick to fabric. Again, oh, yeah, it will. Okay, really? Yeah. Huh. We're going to make it work. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's going to be a yeah. good time, man. And um, Do you got uh, uh, any new songs? Um, we worked out. Uh, we got about 12 that we're going to try to work in before the 23rd. Mm -hmm. Probably won't get them all. We'll probably get maybe half of it, maybe a little more. But we did do the uh, Manhammer competition where we uh, – let the people decide some songs I like to hear us play, and yeah, we did yeah. choose, we did choose two of those. I'm not at liberty to post because I haven't posted it yet, but we do have two winners, and hopefully those two songs will be definitely be ready for the the 23rd. So we got two people, we got a, a male winner and a female winner, and they're both going to get a T-shirt. Okay. So uh, and uh, we're going to play their song. So well, congratulations, and, um, guys! If you don't know who you are. Yeah. You, you don't, don't know who out. you are yet. We know who you are, but you don't know who you are. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's like, I know something you don't know. And Mark, Mark was like, no, don't tell nobody. Yet. Don't do it yet. No, no, no. No, no. That sounds like Mark. Yeah, that was his uh, his cushion in case he didn't learn the lyrics. Yeah. 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 So. I love Mark to death. <laughs> but sometimes hey. Mark, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, now that you, you did that, I, like I was just telling you, now yeah. I do that at work. And you need to get a thing to record of him saying it, and then you can play it every now and then, like do a sound yeah. thing. Like, hey, hey. All I got to do is do it on my phone. When yeah. I, Next time I see him, I record it on my phone, throw it on my computer, and take the sound out. We'll give it to Brandon and Dave, too, and let them put it on their show. See, all right, I am very sad to say this. <laughs> I used the memory card in my board for a show for 95, and it erased my Dave. So... I have to get new Dave. Oh, you got to get new Dave? What does Dave say on there? Uh, Dave used to, he used to introduce a podcast and stuff. That's right. That's right. So, like, I have to get him to re record, which is not a problem. Not a problem. He's over here enough. Not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> it will be excellent. Um, anyways. <laughs> Well, but, well uh, we don't. We got before our ugly sweater party. You've got your ugly sweater party, right? Yeah, so. yeah. Inv I'm sorry, invitation only. Yeah, invitation. My only. my house is only. So Should good. we bleep that out and, and just? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it, uh, people, are, I don't care if you find out. Look, uh, look. If you find out, it's and, on you, Facebook. and you, you weren't invited, contact the manager. She will invite you. I mean, I expect my yard to be flooded with cars. I really do. It should be like. So, I would also, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to try. We're going to try our hardest to make sure everyone's fed and stuff. But uh, bring your own drink. Yeah. You're like, because alcohol is expensive. You could do covered dish, bring something. Yeah. That way you don't have to spend all your money on food. Yeah. Potluck. I, 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 yeah. I try to be a good host. You do. You always are. Um, potluck now. See, it. I have to now. I'm gonna have to talk to Brandon about this because I mean it was mine and his idea. Yeah. And uh, well, Cinco Dave. Cinco Dave. All right, us three are gonna have a potluck, and but if you win, I want in on it. You know, every yeah, I mean, all bring, of us. I can bring some Cajun food that'll knock your socks off. See, we're all bringing our best dish. And oh. Everyone knows what my dish is already. What is it? I don't know what it is. Oh, yes, wait. you do. Yeah, the chicken fried rice. There you there go. There you go. Well, I got to bring the gumbo then. See, see, so. Chicken and sausage uh, we, gumbo. We'll, we'll talk to Brandon and Cinco Dave and mm -hmm. we'll bring Jason Lodge into Is it. this a competition possibly? No. 
I mean, we can make it one, but really, it's just <laughs> it's just really us getting together, cutting shit. All right. Well, now you got to tell me. I, I, I've I've met him. I've hung out with him. I've been in the booth with him. What the hell does Cinco Day? Where, where what is the five Dave? What I, day five. I do you know? I can't answer it. I gotta ask him. I gotta know. Yeah. But I mean, I am gonna it's find out. Like the, remember, remember the fifth of November, but instead it's like something to do with the fifth of Dave, or is it? Yeah, I have no. F- is he like, the fifth Dave? I, I think I've <laughs> I've been told, but I I don't remember at all. But I am gonna try to get him on the podcast because I was told he needs to come on the podcast yeah. alone, alone, and then he's gonna do it with Brandon, and then I need to have you and Brandon in yeah. here. That's gonna be some, some shenanigans. With, Hell, with I can get you, Brandon, and Dave in here. Dude, you, the more the merrier. There'll be two of us here. We'll put one by you, and we'll just have like, a damn. We have it rumble. all. I mean, we can all fit. So it'll be a rumble. Let's do it. Like, yeah, no, it'll be extremely entertaining. So uh, no doubt. Like, <laughs> and and uh, I was like yesterday, but I was talking to Brandon about it, and I was like, "Is Dave the brains of this operation?" <laughs> He's like, yeah, he's the brains of the operation. I'm like, okay, makes sense now. He's pinky in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, pinky? I'm taking over the world. I'm taking over the world. <laughs> you ever see the, if you ever think about that, you think about the little bulldog and the big bulldog that used to be on uh, the damn old oh, Bunny yeah, Tunes yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, Spike, what are we going to do? <laughs> Man, shut up. Man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, the the rooster? I tell you, boy. I, t- I, t- I boy, tell you. Boy, boy, I say, boy, that's a foghorn leghorn, and that is Dave Bayless. Oh, that is Dave. that is one hundred percent Dave. If you in oh, cartoon boy. form, I'm about to fucking post that shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously gonna make a meme with Dave in that because you, you know what he does to me. He mm. does that shit to me. He always posts my face on shit, like a uh, random shit. Did no, you? no, he does it to everybody. Like, did you get unplugged? You no. Oh, okay. No, it was just hooked to my arm. I didn't want. Oh, okay. I didn't want to snatch it. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you really could because the way I got it. Look at well, that. Well, I'm just <laughs> taking no chances because okay. my uh, luck is is the. <laughs> I'm Irish, but I don't have that the luck of the Irish. Yeah. I don't have the luck of the Irish. I think I have the cursed like, like Romani gypsy like. <laughs> Uh, ton of a look, so yeah, we're not gonna do that. Yeah, and this does taste like TV static. At, at one ten, do not recommend. Yeah, at one out of ten, do not recommend. Do not. Yeah, okay. yeah. I no, I tried my first one, and I don't like it either. Like <sighs> White Claw's not for me. I'm trying to think of why people would even enjoy it. Yeah, I I have no clue. I think it's the way they advertise it. Possibly, so so like a, you're getting cool points for holding this. Yes. Okay. I, I'm. I, I don't feel any cooler. Yeah. No. Like a girl though feels great. If you're. Oh no. If you're a girl, you feel great. Well, I see dudes I drinking drink this white shit claw. too. I, I see dudes drinking it too. Yeah, I have seen dudes drinking it, but no. See, the, this the, is like a Mike Burroughs drink. That the, that guy. I think he. <laughs> I, believe, <laughs> I believe he would drink this. Yeah. Yeah. I believe he would drink. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, they're they. So seltzers, I don't typically like seltzers. There's a very few that I will, but you you can drink your C four now. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to that now. Yeah, I did my obligated intoxicated drink with you. <laughs> my government mandated. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> intoxicated drink with you. Yeah. So. <laughs> it, it's in the name. You got to do it. I'm just kidding. You don't have to, but I will. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> so back to this White Claw drink. Yes. Uh, one ten. Do not recommend. Um, yeah. That's. Yeah. Let's not do that. I think I think Haley bought those. That explains everything. Yeah. Which. <laughs> yeah. She 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 don't she shouldn't be drinking them anymore right now, right? Or can she? She can. Oh, I, I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Am I missing something here? Am I not pretty? No, the, there's not some bad. stuff. There is stuff in the background, but. Mm. And now we got little foxes in here that's, now. That's that's my girl right there. Yeah. She, uh, she loves watching the podcast. So I always have a little bit of an audience. <laughs> she loves to come in here and lay down and chill. Oh. See, she gets up there. She chills. Mm-hmm. Look at her. Just a perfect puppy. I wish I had a camera to go show everyone, but it's okay. It's okay. Just know that there's a cute little adorable dog over there watching the podcast peacefully. She, you know what? I'll put her on the thumbnail. There you go. Thumbnail. So like check it. the thumb out. That's Foxy. Anyways, um, 
But yeah. Do, have you uh what you, when you go up to Pretoria, do you got a, a chosen drink? Uh either Walker Station and if I don't want anything really heavy, I'll do the sweet tea. Have you had the mangoza? I don't like it. You don't like mangoza? <laughs> I think I like sour drinks. Well, because I like whiskey sours. Well, I like that particular one just doesn't do it. And there's a, the damn slampy mosaic. Uh, it tastes like what cat piss smells like, if that makes any sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. And Stacy was like, yo, try this. And I did the flight. And that mm-hmm. was one of the ones that was on the flight. Yeah. And I'm like, I took, I, I couldn't do it. It was horrible. Yeah. No, I, I found out I love mangoza. Mm-hmm. So mangoza is like my favorite. Um, I used to drink Skywater. Skywater's still good. Yeah, that's. Uh, but uh, sippy like sippy harvest. I think I'm gonna say harvest. the Skywater is what uh, Tiffany drinks. I think. Yeah, Skywater is like the basic, basic beer. Then a uh, lot of people like the Shoalies, and I just can't drink it. Yeah, I'm not a yellow beer guy. I yeah, I've, I yeah, don't know. I'm like not, I don't. I don't. Darks and Box and stuff like that. I, I can do, man. But I know. don't. I don't. I'm not a beer guy in the general. That's why it's it's so hard for me to find one that I actually like. Like I, I'm the guy that used to show up back in the day with a Bud Light Lime. Oh, okay. But because, that's kind of like a Corona, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. Like I just, I'm not a typical beer guy though. Right. You know, I would drink Coronas, and but I want the lime in the Corona. I don't want just a. You plate. put the lime in the Corona. Yeah. No. Nah. There's a place in New Orleans we used to go to, a place called Loggers. Uh-huh. This back wall that you've got right here is about the length of their wall, tap wall. There's taps all the way across it. You go in and yeah. you give them a $100 bill. You drink till you can't drink no more. Oh, shit. You can you can only drink one beer once. One beer once. Yeah. So it, there's over 100 taps. So Okay. So there's mm-hmm. over 100 taps. Mm-hmm. You give them a hundred dollars, hundred dollar bill, and you can drink until you cannot drink anymore. Basically, you get one cup of each if you want. Well, I've made to, it to forty five is the most I've ever made it to. So up to one cup of each mm-hmm. alcohol. A sixteen ounce cup is what they give you when you get in there. That's not a bad deal though. But yeah, I've made it to forty five. That's the most I've ever made. Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you can't drink the same beer twice either. No. Because so, they mark your cup. Your cup. They mark it when you get it. Oh really? So they know what you drank already. Dang. <laughs> I mean, that's smart, though. That's because it's like, hey, look, $100, you get any drink you want, but you only get once. They're making you try the, every single one of their beers to see if you find one you really like. Yep. That is genius. Think about the money they're making on that. Yeah. How many guys <laughs> go in there, drink, literally drop $100? 45 is a lot. Yeah. But I think the average might be like 20 yeah, that's. It. I think they you said know, it was anywhere from fifteen to twenty. Is what they said. Yeah. So you're saying a hundred dollars and hundred so, bucks is is that covers you, you for know. the for the night. Yeah. So I mean, so if you're just hanging in there watching football and you get one every twenty minutes. Yeah. Honestly, like mm-hmm. in a, in a sense, I mean, it's not to me. It's not hard alcohol. So if they did that, some with, of them are. Some of them are like over eleven percent alcohol. Yeah. You seem like you get fucked up. <laughs> I don't know. Like yeah. the the Abita beers from out there in Louisiana are amazing, dude. Like yeah. Andy Gator, the. But yeah, if it well, mm. what I, was, I guess I'm trying to say is if you think you're going to spend over a hundred dollars yeah. that night on yourself drinking, mm-hmm. go ahead and just lay down the hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's something else to think about around here. You want a hundred bucks and just yeah. <laughs> so, there is plans. Um, I don't know how far out they are, the but um. Pretoria might be doing more of a wall sort of thing like mm-hmm. that. It's it's smart because, idea, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't know how far it out, but that walking back and forth side to side, yeah, is a lot. So I try to bring everything to one side, and then they're gonna do something with the other side. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, I think good. I think it would be smart to do, you know. So. Like you, I mean, that whole walking across, I've never seen that before. <laughs> it's cool. Now, if you have someone on both sides and you can, and I think that was the intention was half people over here and, you know, I've only people. seen it like that a couple of times where they've had two people working one. But that side. cash register on that side, it doesn't work uh, or they never use it. Yeah. The point of sale, I don't even think it's hooked up over there. So. Yeah. So like, it, I mean, yeah. Anyways. <laughs>
Anyways. Good thing, guys. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all for it. I'll be there to help out. Uh, <laughs> but um, Beer. Good. Beer. Good. <laughs> Anywho. My, my brain got foggy. Are you all right? Um, it's, I think it's this lime margarita or not, mango margarita. Mango Rita. Whatever it is. Is it getting to you, man? Yeah. It's, it's not laced with mushrooms, is it? It might be. You start seeing a big dragon over here by the damn thing, let me know. Yeah. I've heard about <laughs> mushrooms. I don't know if I would ever want to experience. I'll tell you what I have done seen mm -hmm. when I was younger. I watched people eat them, and that's all I did. I was just the audience. <laughs> and I think I had more fun watching them than they had. Like, I was <laughs> on the ground laughing the whole time because, like, this dude, he, like, he went outside and a cat crossed in front of him. And he just started laughing at a cat just walking across. <laughs> and he was just like, the cat's walking across the rocks. Okay. It's it's what it does, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like the, I mean, are the, uh, you know, like when you're watching TV, like the illusions they show, is mm. that real? The shutter, you get the, what they call like a shutter vision. Uh huh. Yeah, it is. It's not as intense as what, of course, TV and stuff like that does. Yeah. And I'm telling on myself here, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely a different, uh, different, um, I guess you could call it a vibe if you want to call it a vibe. That's what in the the word the kids are using now. Vibe. Vibe. Yeah, that is it. <clears throat> you know, I, you got you got to <laughs> try to stay with the young crowd. I'm so trying, you, man. I'm trying. So you feel young. <laughs> I mean, I remember the words back when I was in school. Man, I can't. I can't even pull any of no, them out. No, I, I didn't listen to the like, normal. I think lit was just now coming out. Like people just now start. I've got to say a seventeen-year-old son. He is in up to all the lingo. Yeah, but he then again, me. I probably then that makes sense. I'm probably heard it in the military yeah. with my young guys. It's lit, fam. That's the yeah, that's, that's his favorite thing to say. It's lit, fam. Or bruh. Yeah. 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 I told him if he comes, bruh, it, again, I was gonna smack him outside his head. Yeah. 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 That, <laughs> that's um, something that I think came out when I was in high school was bruh. Like it's been uh, bro, bra, bre, bra, whatever. Pick yeah. something; it don't matter. That, well, because was, <laughs> I remember the it, people used to say bro, and then it went from bro to bra, bra. Like what? Like a women's bra. Yeah. You know, and the bra. What's up, man? It went. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I mean, but it, it's like this. The one that kills me is the ion. They'll put I, the word ion, I O N, for I ain't gonna do something. Oh, yeah. I ain't even, I, I, I ain't even felt did that. I like, what? I, what? <laughs> you just it created an entire, like, unused, like, verbiage just to say you didn't wanna do something or you didn't understand something. <laughs> oh, the acronyms of today. Yeah, it, it's, uh, I don't care. I mean, it is what it is. That's like, I'm sure we said some Storm, shit. though, actually, I was actually schooled her up on one not too long ago. Mm. She's like, what the heck is ISO in search of? Yeah, well. Like, I, but for the longest, <laughs> I didn't know what it was. But everyone's putting on their ISO, mm -hmm. and then they'll put a lawnmower. Well, they did that. That's, hell, I remember that back when I, damn, IOL had a instant messenger, mm -hmm. or AOL, rather. You know, you have to know, ding, ding, oh, boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Yo, I got a. You've got mail. I got a spam call, and then it left a message on my, you know, a voicemail. That's all the voicemail was. W A W Y A. Yeah. W Where you at? Where you at? Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> WWJD. Yeah. <laughs> what would Jason do? What would Jason do? <laughs> <laughs> um, what you doing? Not drink this. Do not. One out of ten. Do not folks. recommend. I mean, and I mean, he's a an alcohol <laughs> connoisseur, as uh, Brandon would say. Sippy cup. Sippy cup. As Sippy would say. How did that name come about? <laughs> See, that's another one I, I've been told. I don't remember. It's a lot of stuff I have to be told over. Yeah, and we over. Gotta, I'm going to have to get, I got to be in the know. I got to be privy. I don't, yeah. I, I don't know. I, it just came about somehow. <laughs> I like It's like one day he decided to sip on his drink, so we named him Sippy Cup. 
Uh, it's like, always something. Maybe he had a kid's little thing with the little handles and it, with the little top. And he was like, well, did, did you see his sticker? Mm-mm. You have it, it, no, his I, logo? No. Oh, his logo's on his computer. Like, I will show you it. it okay. But um, I made him a logo like that. It literally says Sippy. And it's got that exact cup in it. I have not seen it. I will, I'm going to check because it out. it's in the place of the eye. Yeah, <laughs> I'll yeah. Check it, out. it is perfect. Mm-mm. But um, yeah. So uh, I I made him and K Method some logos. That's cool. Some personalized logos. They deserve them, man. Good. Yeah. You know, I try to be a good sport every once in a while. Uh, they they do a lot for a lot, yeah. for a lot of bands, a lot of people around here, man. And it's, yeah. Uh, it's nice to see. So. Yeah, yeah. No, they they go above and beyond. Like, I mean, honestly, they don't get enough respect for what they do bring here. Well, they got it from me. So they got it from you. You got it from me. Oh, the I'll respect. I make sure everybody yeah. else gets it. Yeah, no, they definitely. Um, if you guys don't know, they're the reason why we have these festivals. Yep. Up at Pretoria, like. They they bust their ass to make sure we have a good time in Albany. Yeah, they've taken notice to a lot of different things that other people and pay attention to. Have you noticed though? Uh, this I found this out. <clears throat> like so, they've been getting recognized by a bunch of independent artists from around the world. Well, that's good. And they're playing all their music now, and like they are, they're like there's so much music being sent to us, we cannot play it all. Like there's worse problems than half, man. There is. <laughs> that's amazing. I was like, that's that's insane. And then we're also talking about fast food with their original music. Yeah. Like burning stereo and um violent clarity. Uh, they're stuff. playing my brother's stuff on there too, I think, aren't they? Uh, I think they're playing yeah, the Neon no, Warlord track on there, I believe. Yep. And Neon your brother's playing at Batory here soon. Yeah. So I know it's him and uh, Ryan, Ryan Cadaver. Yeah. The, they're playing there. F- uh, fast food for mutants are supposed to play. Supposed to play. I heard Jason say something about that, and hopefully it was. I think them. Yep, uh, is them. Fast food and choir babel. I think yep. is what he was saying. All three of them in that, one night. That'd be amazing. Be a good show. It's gonna be epic. Like mm, I'm saying, it's a pretty good. Show. Honestly, if I can have the honors of, I don't know if I could, but run sound. Just <laughs> I'm here. I'm there to support no, anything I don't, you need. I'll, I'll put in a good word for you. Yeah, like, <laughs> trust me, um, I'm trying to build my portfolio for, grad, you know, the day I graduate so I can show what I've done, so. Yeah, that, that's going to be a good show, man. It's uh, it's definitely. A- I actually talked about to Jason about um, bringing them in here and recording them. Um, once I get all my gear I'm getting here soon, um, I'm getting a bunch an, an interface and all this stuff. And I want to try to get them in here, either do acoustic or I was even thinking about clearing this room out mm-hmm. and have them full full band set up inside this room. That could be cool, man. And then uh, record them. I mean, I probably wouldn't throw it on the cameras, but I want to record them, record a track. You know, hell, I, I mean, I could throw up a camera in the corner of the room so I could just have some video for like when they do make it get some archive footage man archive because, footage look yeah <laughs> when they do make it mm-hmm. there it's gonna be like you know like 50 years from now they're <laughs> don't like their history vh1 and, behind the music yeah vh1 behind the music i mean <laughs> by that time everyone would watch tv and just one of their eyes they're like there you go but anyways uh <laughs> you're getting ahead of yourself bro <laughs> yeah it's fast food for mutants i mean come on i love it um but anyways, yeah, I want to do the recording and I want to do their um, mixing. I want to master their mix. Well, that would, uh, of course, I mean, if I'd probably be calling your brother a lot during that time. He won't mind. Oh, he done told me. He's like, any questions you got through this whole course, don't don't even hesitate. Call me. Ask me. I'll, I'll help you out. Yeah, and he knows. That's the thing about it, man. He's so kid's got an ear, man. He always yeah. has. So, and I mean... That's something that I get. So this school, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how the class is going to work, but they actually got a class that um, it's like a trained ear teaches you what, how to recognize each sound. And I don't. Maybe they have a some kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know how they do that because I tell you right now, we were listening when we did the old doghead recordings. I told. I think I've told you this story. We're sitting there, and the rest of us are like, man, this sounds fantastic. And he's like, no, there's something wrong. Damn it, there's something wrong. I can hear it. 
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so he backed up to this little space. It yeah, was like it a, wasn't it? A three to four second clip. And he's like, listen. And I'm like, dude, I don't hear nothing. And he's like, it's right there. And then he finally isolated and got it pulled up, pulled up again, and pulled up again. And it was literally just a second clip. And you hear the, the music, and then you hear this. And he goes, there it is. I guess somebody had dropped something yeah. or, or hit like the wall or did something. It was literally just a. <laughs> and he heard it through all the several. I can't tell you how many layers of guitars, how many yeah. layers of vocals. You know, he heard that through all of that and found it. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Yeah. Like, and just be able to isolate that and like just. We're listening to the track going, man, this sounds badass. This sounds really good. He's in here listening for like pin drops. You know, Which, <laughs> I, I had like, I'll tell you this. I notice every missed note of a song now. Mm-hmm. It's like, if you miss a note, trust me, I know. Yeah, that's like, that's the, I, I, I have that. Like, I have that when we're on stage, I'll hear something too. And I, that's like, annoying. that's something <laughs> that, yeah, that's something I never had. Like, like younger, I never realized it. But now even at live shows, like a big time band, Isn't it annoying. I fucking hear it. And I'm like, God. You're like, ah, ah. No, you point them out. You point yeah, that shit yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> you look at him and go, ah. ah. <laughs> uh, I shit. try to do that to Mike as Burroughs as much as I possibly can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As much. But, like, <laughs> that shit, it's crazy. So, I mean, that just sound, shows me that I am improving mm-hmm. on getting to where I want to get. Well, maybe there. you will hear the, the pin drop. Maybe. Uh, I wish you would uh, have that, that recording still. That would be a, a challenge. I don't know if he still has all those tracks or not. I'll have to ask him about it. But I know he t- he got rid of it. Yeah. He cleaned it up. So Yeah, of course. I mean, I, I'm bad. I don't save any of my stuff. Once I make a master, I don't save the old stuff. The yeah. old stuff goes in the garbage. So there, when you're playing that kind of stuff and like he he's real anal about his guitar parts too. Like he'll play the same guitar part probably thirty times, maybe more. Mm-hmm. Just because he got a bend just maybe a microsecond out of place than where he wants it to be. And because the first time he played it, it was yeah. right. And then the second time he played it, I went off just a little bit. Yeah. And he'll keep going and keep going and keep so going. The, I don't know. So, see, that's the thing. He, mm-hmm. Everyone is their own worst critic. He's a perfectionist, dude. So, right? Yeah. <laughs> and he is a perfectionist. Mm-hmm. Um, and he wouldn't allow you to cheat yourself either. That's another so thing like I, about him. So, like, I want to learn to play guitar, like, yeah. really well and bass and all that. I do want to, and I'm going to try. Uh, especially going towards the career I'm trying to go towards. But anyways, I will I will never ever be his level. I mean, you don't, don't say I that. mean, I you don't know that. Okay, I probably <laughs> I'm not going to say never, but it would be really really hard to get there. And you work a lot, he worked a lot back then, but I want to tell you the thing that he did and the reason why he was like he was, he would literally lock himself in his room for hours. Yeah. To, to hone his craft and to get where he wanted to be. Yeah, I, um, I kind of missed out on that. It's, yeah. So, like, I mean. It's a discipline, man. It, it, it is a discipline. I, 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 don't, I don't have that discipline either. Like, I, le- <laughs> I, th- I learned the discipline through mm-hmm. the military because now, like, I could sit right at a computer for hours mm-hmm. tweaking stuff. Like, right. I can tweak stuff until I like it. Like, and like, I mean, all my shirts I do, all my logos I do, like, it, I'll spend hours and not even realize I've been in here for hours doing it. That's the way that's... But like, it, stuff comes out looking perfect. Let me give you, just think of this analogy, picture it like a and d game. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and you got so many points to put in attributes, right? So like he put, like if he had 10 points to spend, he put nine in, or eight in... You know, you know, music perfection, then put two in performance. I put all but I put nine in performance and uh, one in, <laughs> in playability. Right. So, playability. Yeah. But you, you're you're extremely entertaining yeah. on the stage. Exactly, so, so, and you need that. Yeah. So they just they see me move around. And, oh, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. No, oh, uh, I really don't. I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> so like, see, that's the thing about like 95 with Greg. Yeah. Like he is, he sings good. He's mm-hmm. you know, but. He's more of an entertainer than anything. He gets out in the crowd. He gets the crowd pumped up like Brandon. Uh, I keep saying Brandon, but Sippy. Yeah. And he uh, he uh, was pointing out that how he got off the stage and went almost into the tap room singing. 
like trying to get the people in the tap room <laughs> to come outside and enjoy the show. Like that shit right there. He, Cause he looked at me he, cause he, he goes before, uh, Greg looks at me before he does it. And he's like, I wonder how far my microphone will go. Go man. I was like, I don't know. You That's one try. of the reasons when dog hair was together, they didn't want me to have a wireless cause I would have been very much unbound. Yeah. I had one one night and I was on top of the bar on Dogathor walking across the bar. So, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, me with a wireless probably is not a good thing. I but. think my, my dad does that <laughs> shit too. My dad, he'll get going crazy too. Like he'll get off the stage and walk around playing with everybody. No, and you have to, man. And like, people remember that shit. That's how, uh, honestly, the crowd flipping loves that. Okay, you go to a show, they're on the stage, and that's all they do. They staring do, at their feet. Staring at their feet, mm -hmm. playing. like, And they can sound perfect. They can hit every note, everything perfect. But at the end of the night, I don't think anyone really had a good time. Most people probably just started chit-chatting and talking. That's on the phones or whatever. On the phones, yep. Uh, but if you start moving around, even just a little bit, they they recognize it, uh, like you know. You walk over to Brian. You walk over yeah. to Sean. Yeah. You guys are, you know, playing together. You know, Mark. You know, getting in your face and singing and yeah. Hey 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 hey. <laughs> but I got told a long time ago, and it stuck with me. And uh, one of the guy is an older guy, and it was at Dave's Sports Center where it was told to me. If you don't look like you're having fun, the people that are there to watch you are not going to have fun. I completely agree. So, and that, that really did stick with All me. Right. So, there is an energy level that you, as a performer, have to give. Yep. And 100%. But, see, it's a, it's a give and a take situation because guess what? You're going to give it mm -hmm. and they're going to give it back. Yep. And, but when they give it back, they give it back a lot better. So then you get, you know, and it makes you feel like the wilder people are, the more yeah. crazy I get. Exactly. And this better show really gets, mm -hmm. I mean, granted, sometimes you got to tone it down there a little bit, but <laughs> I don't have that gear, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a, a, a semi truck that just doesn't slow down. <laughs> Once you get in the, the last gear, it just keeps going and going. Even with the slower tunes that we do, I still, uh, Make you know like facial expressions at the crowd, mess with people yeah. and stuff like that. You know, it's a uh, yeah. you got to you got to keep them interested, man. And yeah, it's a uh, they they like I said they remember that shit. And then when they come back next time, that's what they come back for. Like um, I mean, it's funny <clears throat> now that I think about this. Like I was watching a Red Hot Chili Pepper thing where Flea, he's doing one of his bass solos, right? But he sits down and does it. Like his whole bass solo, he sits down and does it. But it's focused on him, and you you you. you you don't normally see someone sitting down and he wasn't sitting down in a chair. He was sitting down like on an edge of the drums. He was thing. probably improvising that. So moving around when you're yeah. trying to do improvisation like that, that's not going to work, but, but people are watching him play. But then come to this day, Matt actually has done that, uh, playing guitar. Mm -hmm. He has sat down at right on top of the state, like, uh, at leap up that little stage. Yeah. He sat on the edge of it and just started playing. And it was like, this is different. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's focused on him now. It's an intimate look at what you're doing. Yeah. Is it the manager? <laughs> she's breathing down my neck. I can feel it. No, she's a, she's, yeah, she's doing something. She's, I don't know why she's doing it, but she's doing something. Like I said, no animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> what happened? Tree. <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome to Kitty Cats. I, had, I, I saw two green eyes staring at me the other day in front of the middle of mine. So. And I've got a live tree. Jasper was a kitten, never got in the tree. No, yeah, Jasper never got in the tree. Well, I'm sorry I gave you an insane cat. You did? I apologize. Oh, my goodness, everyone. So it's my wanna, fault. If you want to know what <laughs> we're talking about. So we got a cat from Jason Lodge over here. We brought it home. She named it Luna. Luna. All right. The cat's name is Luna. However, it has adopted a new name. Um, so, and it actually came from Sippy Cup. Sippy Cup came over here and he's like, <laughs> so Luna's short for lunatic, right? And we were both like, no. But 
The cat's name is Lunatic. Yeah. Straight up Lunatic. In this tree. Yeah. Look at her. She, straight. She is straight play all day, the whole time. <laughs> straight play. <laughs> Just everyone. Oh, don't. Don't come over here with your bullshit. I'm coming to visit. <laughs> yeah. She got a crooked tail, too. Yeah. You feel the tail? Mm-hmm. It's crooked. That's why I was looking at it. I, I don't know what happened, but... Y'all broke it. Did you step on this cat? <laughs> She's you shut her in the door? Yeah, I, I have no clue what happened. Oh, it is crooked. Oh. Yeah. Her tail was broken. It, it ain't broken. It's healed that way. But uh, <laughs> it, it definitely did get broken, though, at some point. And who knows how? <laughs> like I said, she's a lunatic. <laughs> I brought The day I brought her home, she jumped out of my hands. No, I don't doubt it. Like, I was like, holy cow. <laughs> like, that's a far jump for a little kitten. Have you, uh, what, have you got her ugly sweater? We got, you know, we got ugly sweaters. Oh, okay. We got... Ones, uh, they don't have the cats on it though. They got all four of the dogs, so that's cool. But, uh, <laughs> maybe I can add them on her uh, one for the show. Like I said, we, mine, mine's gonna win. Oh, absolutely, hands down, hands down, man, hands down, mine's gonna win. But, uh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> She's trying to decide what to do right now. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the goddamn sweater. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I can already picture it. It's just. Uh, it, yeah. I'm I a, get a chuckle out of it thinking about it. I'll be at work. Then I'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll get a picture in my mind of it. And I'll start laughing. Yeah. I'm a, it I'm already a, adds to the fact that everybody thinks I'm insane. And I just start laughing for no reason. Everybody's like, dude, what the fuck are you laughing at? Just, don't worry about it. Man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm but just, I trust me out there in radio land, uh, podcast land, TV land, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's going to be an epic sweater. Yeah. I, I'm going I'm to start working on it. Here's, <laughs> I actually needed to start working on it this week because 23rd is coming up quick. Yeah, two weeks, man. You're good. That, so the 23rd will be the first day that I'm off work for 11 days. I got to go to, to work the next day. So. Really? Yeah. Isn't the tw- 23rd is a Saturday, and you got to go to work on the Sunday? I got to go in on Sunday at about 2 o'clock and do, get a, do a, a pre thing for the end of the month since it's Christmas and all that. So yeah. Christmas Eve, I've got to go in and close out. So. Oh, shit. And th- then you're off for a little while? No, I got to go to work Monday. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. No, wait, we're off Monday. I'm sorry. We got to work. We go back Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, we're closed Monday. We got to go back Tuesday. That's closed what I gotta for do with, cr- That's Christmas. what I got to do with Sunday. So it's I love how businesses work. Mm-hmm. Like they some care about you, some don't. Some say you don't have a family, so you come to work. Well, it's just me. I'm the boss, so I got to do it. Yeah, and then that's too. I mean, being the head honcho, sometimes it has its pleasures and it has its, you know, times when like it really does just suck. I can probably do it Saturday before. Uh like or whatever, and that way I ain't got to do do you know do it Saturday. And I have to go up or Sunday. That's probably what I end up doing. So, yeah. Well, you can get it out of the way. That'd be great. Yeah, we close at twelve, so I can go up at one o'clock and do it. That way you can um you can <laughs> kind of do what you please that night. I already plan on doing what I please. Oh, are, are you kind of like uh, Jim Carrey and uh what was it the Cable Guy? <laughs> yeah. That night, the uh, Los Angeles chapter of the Hell's Angels had their way. <laughs> And that's the way the cookie crumbles. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Are you going to uh, have green hair? I could possibly do that. Why not? I mean, you could be like the Grinch. Why not? We'll call it the Grinch and not Why the... not? We can do it. Yeah. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. And you got to buy real green hair paint this time. We bought fluorescent paint last time. Oh, shit. That's why it wasn't green on Halloween. It was fluorescent. You had to be under the black light. Oh. I was mad. Yeah. Let's let's get the right stuff. Yeah. Did all right. Where do we get this shit out? <laughs> oh, you can get it at Party City. Not Party Party City. Yeah, Party, Party City. City? Yeah. All right. Just you got to read the the can, and the person that sent to buy it didn't read the can. They just grabbed the green top. The green top. Yeah. The green top doesn't mean always good things. That's green fluorescent, but you got to yeah. be under a black light for it to work. Yeah, yeah. And that little black light behind Taylor didn't really put out a whole lot of black light. Okay, so green hair. On the 23rd. I'll do it. Hell with it. Why not? Heck yeah. The people have spoken. The people have spoken. He's bringing it. 
And he's probably going to wear this vest he's got on, too. I don't know. It might be. I can't wear that over that ugly sweater, man. Oh, that's right. Damn. I mean, I could, I guess. He it's could. Gonna be hot as hell. It is going to be hot. I might yeah. wear it around, and then when we start to play, I'll take that shit off. Cause yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I hope it's cold that night. I really do, too, because... It was 23 degrees three days ago. Uh-huh. It was 78, 82 yesterday at the hottest. Yeah, no, it was... Tornadoes warning today. Yeah, I think it's... it's uh, This weather change is just crazy because it gets hot, cold, hot, cold. Yeah. And then the weather, there's no wind. So it's, like, perfectly still. Like, um... It's Chris Overman's fault. Yeah. <clears throat> he, didn't, he didn't talk to his alien friends for us. I know. I'll talk to him. I'll, I'll I'll talk to him this week. Appreciate it. I'll see him at work. No, tell him it's his fault. Yeah, yep, I, I will. I'll tell him that um, he needs to tell his ex-wife to get it together up there. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to na- I'm trying to throw down as many names on him here that's been on your podcast. You know, oh, so yeah, yeah. I've been throwing them all down all day. So yeah, I'm showing y'all love. Remember? Oh, it's talking about that. I got to do the sound for um, Natalie and AJ. For the loves, yeah, I did their sound on the uh, bass yesterday. Oh, that, that's cool. We're, oh, they they played out there. Yeah, yeah. they did the uh, national anthem. Oh, and then cool. they did a couple songs during their halftime. They're super nice, man. Oh, they're they're, they're amazing. Yeah, super so, nice people, man. Go watch their episode if you want to learn about them. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, so all right over there. Yeah, no, I got <laughs> so um, I got a nerve in my leg if I hit it. My whole leg tingles. It, it's weird. But, you know, it's called getting old. <laughs> You're not old, man. Come on. It's, it is called getting old. <laughs> me and Jeff were talking about last night. That guy was restless. Like, I'm 35 years old. I'm old. And me and Jeff looked at each other. was like, dude, we're fucking 50. <laughs> <laughs> we're fucking... <laughs> Jeff, on the other hand, is as buff as you can yeah, get. I'm like, uh... <laughs> just, just freaking them. Can I talk about what uh, he... Well, I can. He said to do it. What? Uh, so... Storm is like, man, I just want to punch something. Mm-hmm. And Jeff is like, punch me. Yeah. <laughs> and Storm punch him in the abs mm-hmm. and then goes, ah, she hurt her hand. <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> glad it wasn't me. Like, about the drunk girl? Oh, the drunk girl last night? You obviously were probably around her. No, oh, yeah, I was there. Yeah. Storm was trying to get me caught up with her. No, let's not do that. See, violence is not the answer. And in case she's watching the podcast, you might want to that out too. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> the, 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 the manager said keep it. The manager said keep it. The manager is buck wild. You have not thrown any names. We are not uh, responsible for any likenesses or what is it? How does it read at the bottom of a... Oh, the, the movie thing when it says, you know, any resemblance to a likeness of any living person or whatever is completely coincidence. Mm-hmm. Put that on there. <laughs> Just let that flash across there. <laughs> We're not responsible. And if yeah. uh, you think it is you, lace that fucking boot up and wear it. Right. I agree. Well said. Well said. Well, you're the taco boot is like. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Who? She's Who? over there doing shit. I'm trying to look at the wall to see if Dude, there's is your anyone. dog humping something over there? See if there's anyone on the wall you haven't mentioned. I'm just trying to get comfy. Oh, God. Who did I not mention? Um, we mentioned your dad. Davin up brother. there. There's people that are. We, we talked about Jason Culberson being on yeah, the front Jay- of my ugly sweater. Mm-hmm. You talked about your brother. On your sweater? I'm going to wear a mirror and I'm just going to stand in front of him all night. Yeah. Talked about your brother. Your brother's been on here a couple yeah. times. Uh, we, we talked about Sippy. We talked about Jeff. Yeah. K Method. K Method. Uh, Chris Overman. Mark Bullard. Mark Bullard. Yeah, we had Brian. Even though we put Brian. Yeah, Brian. Phone. Brian was you, on the show. Yeah, can you superpose quiet. him again? Yeah, you, you me. Okay. Yeah, just put him right here at this segment. Okay, got it. Brian was here. Brian was here. Yeah. Yeah. Sean. Sean. Yeah. We talked about insane. I even mentioned my pops. You know, I mentioned him. Taylor. We well uh, we did well uh, we'll mention Taylor right now. Taylor, he, I have you learned? I told, I think I told you earlier. Everybody's the the band names to everybody in the band right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're Manhammer names. Have you heard them all? Yeah. yeah. Last night. Yep. Yeah. She's like last night. Well, they haven't. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, they haven't. Yeah. So so Brian all right. is either Old Man Gloom mm-hmm. or Galaxy Seven. Mark is Mark Bullcock. <laughs> 
And Taylor is Taylor Van Dam. Sean is insane in the Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your friendly neighborhood sociopath. Your friendly neighborhood sociopath. <laughs> that came from Taylor, so. Oh, it, Lord. Kind of fitting. I mean, it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kind of oxymoronic, but you know. <laughs> yeah, like I, I swear. Insane in the Ukraine just makes me fucking just chuckle up every time I think about it. <laughs> oh, Taylor Van Dam. Taylor Van Dam. Yeah, trying I to get him it. to do the splits on top of the drum. You know, maybe, yeah. I think maybe he can do that next time. We got to come up with something, man. That'd be great. Um, Put a stripper pole up there and let him dance on it. <laughs> the manhammer stripper pole oh shit he uh, <laughs> i don't know if he he might hate this <laughs> what he had a great time at lee pub oh dude he the, had an excellent time at lee pub <laughs> like he had enough fun for every fucking body <laughs> like he had so much fun i was just like holy cow he was uh <laughs> storm is like he is so fun to talk to when he's drunk oh he's hilarious man i was like so I got around him, and he was saying some stuff, and I'm just like, oh, my God, dude, okay. And see, that, I live that all the time. I'm with him when we're playing and all that. That's, yeah. I, I get to see that all the time, and it's yeah. fantastic. He let it. his hair down. Fucking love like, it, man. All right. Here we go. <laughs> it, it was funny because Kate cause Kate, uh, like did some stuff so his snare sounds a little better. Yeah. Because, of course, Taylor picked it out. You know, he's like, I hear the, dr uh, the kick drum and stuff. I don't hear the snare. So they taught... And then he was already gone. And Cade goes, hey, Taylor, how's this? And Taylor's like, it's good. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this shit was funny. Yeah, I can imagine. I hate, I hate I miss that shit. I need to get out more on those. But yeah, um, when you've got a, a nine-year-old at the house, it's kind of difficult to go run around and do those things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I get it. What is she doing, by the way? I have no clue. Oh, she, she left. She probably. Oh, that. She, I didn't even realize Stormy left. That, yeah, she she got left. Uh, I don't know. I think you uh, yours is watching TV. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. So. She's a big old couch potato. So. Yeah. As you've seen though, the, my uh, karaoke setup is gonna be lit. <laughs> yeah. And Dave's probably already broken in for you, right? Or is he not? No, there? I just set it up today. Oh man. I just did that today. Like. Well, I, who's gonna pop the cherry? I don't know yet. I'm gonna. I still got to do. Well, you're gonna have a setup for the your little shindig. I'm sure, right? Yeah. No. I that's. Mm -hmm. I did that, and I'm about to. I'm. I have to get all the dog cages out of there. Mm -hmm. They're. They're. We're gonna move them to the room. Move the couch back, so the whole living room will be empty. So there'll be plenty of room. We're probably gonna just put all the chairs and stuff in there. That sounds good. I'm man. gonna try to keep people in there, and it. It's karaoke, okay? It's in the name. Candy cane okey. Yeah. Or as Sippy says, croaky. Croaky. Yeah. Marks was uh, scary okey for a little scary while. Scary okey. Then he changed it to zipper down karaoke. Zipper down. Yeah. <laughs> zipper down. Zipper down. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I mean, we'll see how this shit goes. It's going to be great. Yeah. Uh, no, no negativity. All positivity. Oh, oh no. It's. No matter what, it's going to go good. It's just I'm ready for it. I'm ready to. You're just excited to have everybody over and hang out, man. Just uh, <laughs> that That is like the most exciting thing in the world. I don't know. what I used to be like this person that used to be in the background and not talk to anybody. Dude, I've seen you grow out of, of your shell like, the last yeah, year that I've known you, man. Yeah. I, I you really would, have. You're a different person than now than you were when so I first met you. I was flipping shy. Like I, yeah, about two years ago, I wouldn't talk to uh, nobody. And being around in the music scene and seeing how everyone gets along together. It brings it out in you, don't it? Oh, my goodness. Like, I just started talking to people. Now, I'll talk to people. All, like, and um, people I would have never even tried to. Um, and, like, when I see a musician, mm -hmm. I walk up to them and I, I just, I'll talk to them. And, of course, you know, I talk to them about what you know what they do and stuff and or how they got where they're at but also invite trying to invite them here mm -hmm. which one that is supposed to be on here very soon hopefully i can get her as jen 
Gin tonic. From gin and tonic. She's a sweet gal, man. Yes, I love her to death. Like, and I have hel- I try to help her on anything she needs, <laughs> any advice. Her and her husband are amazing people, so I want them both on the show. So well, me and her drummer, I put my first band I ever played in with uh, her drummer that she's got in her band with Richard Tucker. Uh-huh. I, my, my very first band I ever played in, I played with him. Okay. So yeah, like so. Hell of a drummer. And maybe even get him. Mm. Like, look, I. His nickname is T Bone. Yeah. So, like, this <laughs> podcast, I mean, it is for, I mean, I like to focus on music, but it is for anybody that wants to come on and have a good time. We'll talk about random stuff and have a good, you know. Bigfoot. Bigfoot. We talked about Bigfoot. We talked about aliens. <laughs> We've talked about everything, uh, man. <laughs> literally everything. Tr- Mike and Bill's camping trip. Mike and Bill's camp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> That's a that's a good one. I mean, there's it doesn't stop where no, dude. So this has been one of the the, the funnest things of I've, I've done. So and yeah. I appreciate you bringing me out, man. <laughs> I I love it. Absolutely love this. Um, but well, piggyback on what you said earlier about talking to people, I bet you find that a lot more people talk to you before you go to them too. Uh, now, now, now I so uh, Brandon wa- or Sippy walked up to me earlier today, and he goes. I, you know, I had a weird experience today, and he goes, someone came up to me, a guy earlier said, hey, you're the guy that was on that podcast, and he's like, yeah, I was on the podcast with So True, <laughs> and he's like, I mean, guess what, you're going to hear this, because he, he said, yeah, the guy says he watches that work every time it comes out, I was like, you know, that is crazy to say, it's an honor that I have people like that, that watch this, and like, you know, it, I don't know. It excites me. Well, and good, man. You, you, it's, it, you do a lot of good for a lot of people, man. Yeah. And like, uh, people see that. So. I, like if, if you're a business owner or you're, if you're a small business owner and you're trying to get the word out, get with me. We'll, we'll get you on here. We'll try, I'll, I'll do my best. I'm, I don't know what I can do, but hey, one person might listen to you on this show. And all it takes is one person. Man. All it takes is one. So but anyways, I've had a great time. Thank you. Always, bro. (laughs) Love you guys. Later. See you next time.